in the sunrise here on Power Radio, a bit of a summer anthem there. And I am joined by Omar now. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No, pleasure is all ours. Listen, you, you do so much from being in music industry for God knows how long now to Netflix, Young Royals, and now the, your own music stuff as well. You think you'd be pretty used to putting stuff out, but this record that came out last week, it's kind of your first big solo project that's come out. Were you nervous for it or just excited before it came out? Uh, I was, I was mostly super excited. Um, it's been a long ride to get here. I've been doing my solo music and in my solo career for like four years now, I think. And yeah, this is my debut album. It took a while, but it was, it was worth the wait. And I was super excited, a little nervous, a little anxious, but mostly excited for sure. Always, always good to be a little nervous and the fans are loving it online. I've seen like complete love for it, which, which is great. And you had a little release party as well. I saw with, with the label, it looked a lot of fun. <laughs> Tell me how yeah, that went, yeah, how, yeah. how was it? Uh, well, so I thought that we were just going to have a little dinner. Me, my two, um, well, yeah, contacts in the label and also, uh, two of my friends. Uh, and then they just took me to a grand hotel. It's called here in Sweden. And then we went and I was like, Oh, they were like, Oh yeah, we're going to eat dinner there. I was like, Oh, okay, cool. And then we get there and then we take the elevator. And then when I walk out of the elevator, I see a lot of rooms and I'm like, this is not a restaurant. And then I'm, but I'm not saying anything because I already kind of knew like, okay, something is about to happen. And then we just walked up to like a room. And then when they opened the door, it was just like chaos. So yeah, it was so much fun. It, it looks like fun. It looks like the Swedes now is party. So I feel like it's the place to be for a, for a party in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Well, during summertime, for sure. No, cool. I have to come over. Well, hey, let's talk about some of the songs on the record. There's, there's so much good stuff. We don't have time to talk about it all, but I've picked a few. The first one is the track we played just now, which is In the Sunrise. It's such a, a super opener. I think it, kind of the song that had to open the album. It just sounds absolutely perfect to do that. <clears throat> when you recorded it, did you know this has got to be the first one on the record? Uh, no, I did actually not. I didn't even know that I was going to release the album when I wrote that record. Uh, but, um, when I got asked to like, like do a little track list, then I knew directly that it was, that was the first one. And I don't know why. I just felt like I just want to start the album with like a bang. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just like a vibe. And so it just felt right. Yeah. No, it, it feels so hopeful. And then I think it leads so well into kind of one of the, the next songs that comes on, which is Mama, which is just the most adorable song ever that is on the record. <laughs> It's, it's so authentic as well, because you're singing obviously in English and then Spanish, and you're talking about your mum. I think it's just a real kind of encapsulates you and your story really well. Uh, what was your mum's reaction when she heard the song? Oh, yeah, she started bawling her eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I played the song for her in the car with one of my friends. I think I have a video of that, actually. Uh, the first time my mom ever uh, heard the song. And, I mean, she loved it. And it's a super personal song with a lot of love behind it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I love it. It's really nice. Yeah, no, an easy favorite. I think everyone loves that one. <laughs> it's such an eclectic album. There's so much going on from kind of, there's something more ballad sounds. There's the English stuff, the Spanish stuff, big Hispanic sounds on, on the on the beats sometimes as well. Uh, when you go yeah. into the studio to record music, you have so much from your story and like, inspirations to choose from. How do you kind of sift through that when you go and say, this is the type of song that I want to write today? I mean, that's a huge problem for me whenever I go into the studio because I feel like I have so many things I want to do, um, but I cannot choose. And I feel like whenever I have a feeling uh, of something that I want to make today in the studio, it always ends up doing completely opposite, like something else, something I didn't think of. Um, so that's pretty hard. It just comes naturally though. That's, that's how I like to work. Like just starting to get a vibe, listening to music and then maybe just like, you know, start like baby steps, uh, in every session to make something, 
uh, to make a song. Yeah. Yeah. And who are you listening to kind of on, on the journey to this, to the studio? Whose songs have you got playing? Uh, most of the time, nobody. <laughs> Cause whenever you're in the studio, you listen to music the whole day. So I know that I'm going to be tired of listening to music. So I do not listen to music before. I do not listen to music right after the studio session. Like, cause it just gets like, it's a lot of music. Uh, and uh, sometimes, you know, I work in the studio, you know, every day in a week and you know, you get so tired of listening to music. I just want to like watch a show or a series or something instead. Um, but, um, I listen to a lot of different artists. I listen to pop. I listen to reggaeton, R and B, hip hop, uh, Latino stuff. Like I listen to everything. Yeah. Yeah. To make an album that sounds like this one does, you have to be listening to so much different stuff because it's, it's, it's so eclectic, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's true. Right. Well, let's get another track on. Um, if I was pushed to pick a favorite, it would probably be this one. And I've talked to a few friends who say the same, which is Breathe. Kind of a real standout. Probably, you know, really sounds different from all, all the rest. It's, it's yeah. like a ballad. It could be romantic. It could be to friends. It could be to fans. So I wanted to ask, is there just one story that's inspired that one? Or was it really just for all of those people? Uh, I mean, this is actually one of the songs that I haven't uh, written myself. Um, it was just a demo that, uh, a songwriter called Santiago showed me. He's been on one of the other songs, uh, for example, Pull Up and Como Ayer in the album. Um, and he wrote this song with a few other, um, songwriters and producers. And he was like, Oh, what do you think about this track? And he played it for me. And I was like, man this is a good ballad so i had to record it and then yeah it became breathe um so breathe is just something that you can like it's a song that you just can relate to uh i relate to my for example my mom my friends uh every single person that i love you know or just a great ballad it's just a really nice ballad you can sing along to and you know get a little deep yeah. when you're listening to it um yeah i really like it it's really it's a vibe um let's get it on i'm sure people are dying to hear it will you do the honors of introducing it for us here on power radio okay yeah uh hello i'm omar rudberg and you're listening to my new single breathe on power radio mm-hmm. 